Hello, and welcome to our lesson on factors. So we're going to begin by working out the factors of 20. So the factors of 20, we can work out by considering the numbers that multiply to make it. And the lowest number is 1, and it is 1 times 20. So we're going to work out every pair. We know 20 is even, so 2 will go into it 10 times. And because 5 is a factor of a 10, we know 5 will go into it 4 times. And because there are no numbers between the 4 and the 5, we know we have covered all the factors of 20. So the factors of 15, again, we know 1 will go into it, and that will be 1 times 15. And because it is odd, we know 2 will not go into it, but 3 will. And 3 will go into 15 5 times. And 4 doesn't go into it. So we know we have got all the factors of 15. Do you want to try and work out the factors of 32 and 45? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for 32, we know it is 1 times 32. It is even, so it will be 2, which is 16 times. We know 4 is a factor of 16, so it will also be a factor of 32. And 4 goes into it 8 times. And 5 doesn't go into it, neither does 6 or 7. So we know we have covered all the factors of 32. And for 45, it is odd. So we have 1 and 45, 3 and 15. We know 5 is a factor of 15, so that would be 5 multiplied by 9. We know 6 doesn't go into it, neither does 7 or 8. So these are your factors of 45. Okay, let's try some more questions. So now we're going to move on to factors of algebraic expressions. We have 12f, and it's the same idea, we know 1 multiplied by 12f will give this product. But we can also do f multiplied by 12. We know 2 goes into 12, so it will be 2 times 6f to make 12f. So we can also do 2f multiplied by 6. We have 3 multiplied by 4 to make 12, 4f to make 12f, 3f multiplied by 4, and there are no other combinations. So these are your factors of 12f. For question B, we have 1 multiplied by 10d. Similarly, d multiplied by 10. We can have 2 multiplied by 5 to make the 10, 5d to make 10d or 2d multiplied by 5. And because we have laid it out in a systematic way, and we know there are no more factors of 10, we have covered all the factors of 10d. Do you want to try and work out the factors of 8x and 3u squared? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for 8x, we have 1 and 8x, or x and 8. 2 and 4x, or 2x and 4. And we know there are no more factors between 2 and 4, so these are your factors of 8x. And finally, for question D, we have 1 multiplied by 3, u squared, or we have u multiplied by 3u, because the u times the u makes the u squared. Or we have u squared multiplied by 3. And these are all the different combinations of factor pairs of making 3u squared. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.